let us prove uh, the uh, sign rule and uh, once we prove it we're going to apply the sign rule to find sides and angles of a triangle now this is sign rule a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c so this is capital c and if you flip this over this is the same as sine a over a is equal to sine b over b is equal to sine c over c now this is a convention this is a triangle abc where this is uh, the uh, upper case a b and c so this is angle a or this is the vertex a uh, so the side opposite to angle a is lowercase a so this is b and this is c so the proof is very simple let us look at the proof okay so what can we say so uh, I have dropped a perpendicular from A on BC where M is the foot of perpendicular so let us say what is so if you take sine B using Soka Toa sine B is opposite over hypotenuse your hypotenuse is C so I can say H over C which implies H is equal to C if you make h the subject uh, you can cross multiply c to the other side or in other words you're multiplying c to both sides so you get h is equal to c sine b so let us call this result one let us call this result one if you take sine if you take the sine of c so sine c is equal to uh, opposite over the opposite of C is H again and the hypotenuse is B which implies uh, again if you make H the subject or and multiply both sides by B H is equal to B sine C so this is result 1 and result 2 so result 1 is H is equal to C sine B and result 2 is H is equal to B sine C. So as both result 1 and result 2 is H is a subject, I can say from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, you can say the right hand side because the left hand side of 1 and the left hand side of 2 is are equal. So you can say the right hand side of 1 is equal to the right hand side of 2. So I can say B sine C is equal to C sine B okay now what can we do okay so if you I'm going to divide both side by sine C sine B if you divide this side by sine B sine C sorry, sine C sine B or whichever way so I'm dividing this side also by sine C sine B so what will get cancelled so sine C and sine C will get cancelled and sine C and sine C will get cancelled so what has remained uh, what has remained is B over sine B is equal to C over sine C you can use the lower case is equal to C over sine C so this is the upper case and same way you can prove if you drop a perpendicular from B on or from B on AC then you can prove uh, A over sine A is equal to B over sine B okay so finally ultimately this implies A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C you don't need all of them you need only two of them okay so we can also use this in any of the examples so let us take uh, let us take this uh, look at this example let us not let us don't worry about ABC so yeah so I can say using the sign rule now if you look at the sign rule it is simple uh, if you look at sine rule, it is A divided by the 
sine of the angle opposite to it is equal to b over sine of the angle opposite to it. So here, yeah, using sine rule, I can say uh, x. Okay, now this is you want to find this angle. So we are going to make uh, we're going to write this. Oops, I want to go back. So this is same as saying if you if you flip this over, sine a over a is equal to sine b over b small b is equal to sine c over small c. Okay. So using this same simple sine rule, I can say sine x because you're finding angles, so it'll be angle is always related with sine of x. So sine x over the opposite side, which is 4.4, is equal to sine. We don't know this angle, so I'm going to take sine 101, sine 101 degree over 9.6. So you can cross multiply. I'm going to take this to the other side or multiplying both sides by 4.4. Sine of x is 4.4 times sine 101 divided by 9.6. So sine x is equal to, so let's use a calculator. So 4.4 times sine 101 uh, equals divided by 9.6. So I'll not write the whole number. So this is 0 0.4499. So which is 0 0.4499 dot dot dot. So I'm going to save this as letter A. So I can say sine A, sine X is equal to A. Now on a graphic calculator, you can save a number as a letter. So use this arrow key and alpha a so my calculator remembers that a is so if you press shift a that's and then to find x you have to take sine inverse of both sides so i'll write this step so this is sine inverse of sine x is equal to sine inverse of a okay so we're taking sine inverse so if it's sine inverse of sine so this and this gets cancelled. Okay, so sine inverse of sine gets cancelled. So what remains is x is sine inverse of a. So let me use a calculator. So shift sine alpha a, which is 26.7 degrees. So this angle is 26.7 degrees. So x is 26.7 degrees should write the precision or uh, accuracy is one decimal point. Okay, let us look at this example. Here we want to find the side, so I'll start with x. So I can say x over sine of that angle, opposite angle. So that is sine 119 is equal to, uh, if you si start with side, you'd also start with side. So this is 12.1 over sine 42. It's very simple here, yeah, simple use logic. Okay, so making or multiplying both sides by sine 119 or taking this and cross multiplying. X is 12.1 times sine 119 divided by sine 42. So that will be my answer. So that is 12.1 times sine 119 divided by sine 42. Make sure that it should be in degrees before you start. My calculator is in degrees. So it's 15.8 uh, units, whatever that unit is. So x is 15.8 units and the uh, accuracy is 1 dp.